Local 2 Sports. Welcome to your Local 2 Sports. I'm Tyler Wessner. It's spring game season here in West Texas. Permian had theirs last night, and now it's Midland Lee's turn for theirs tonight. In Lee's maroon and white game, offense took the white team, defense took the maroon team. Now, no score was kept and no rosters were made, so let's get this started. It should be a fun one. Starting quarterback Samaj Davis hits wide receiver Nicola Sorianello, streaking wide open over the middle. He runs untouched into the end zone. Now Davis still at the quarterback, hands it off for the reverse. He fools my camera right there, and the backup quarterback races down the sideline, gaining the first down, getting knocked out of bounds. Even though he's wearing a green jersey, he's still on the white team. Gotta love the confusingness there. And now the backup quarterback, he chucks it deep, connects with a numberless receiver that you see right here. Down the sidelines, he's open, he catches it, scoring the deep ball touchdown behind the secondary. Another touchdown for the white team, good for them. They're on offense, they get all the points. Then Davis back in at quarterback, hands it off to, what do you know, another numberless player. The running back this time gets a block, and he's down the sidelines. He's got nothing but green grass ahead of him. Long touchdown run there. And despite there not being any scores or rosters, fans were still treated with a good show. And staying with the Rebels, but moving from the gridiron to the diamond. Midland Lee taking on the Capel Cowboys in a three-game series beginning tonight in Lubbock. This is the regional semifinal playoff round with game one going final just moments ago. The Rebels getting the big win, 7-2 to over the Cowboys. Game two will be tomorrow at 1 p.m., still there in Lubbock. Now sticking with baseball, but going now to the college ranks. Number five, Texas Tech in a Big 12 battle today against Oklahoma. The Red Raiders, though, not playing as well as Midland Lee, losing in this game to Oklahoma 17-4. to Now the Sooners, they stay alive to face West Virginia tomorrow, bright and early at 9 a.m. While Texas Tech, they're done in the Big 12 tournament, and now they await to see who they play in the NCAA tournament. Now taking a left turn, the countdown is on to the 100th running of the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indy 500. Today is the carb day at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a day built for fans. Our Grant Pugh brings us the story from IMS Tonight. This year there's so many people that's in town for the race that they might as well come to Carb Day and I think that's why it's so busy this year. A sellout for race day means a jam-packed Carb Day. Fans pack the racing capital of the world for fast cars and fun. Love Carb Day. All the people, fast cars, good refreshments. All the people and this to me is Indiana. That's what I think. I love it here. The field of 33 hitting the track one final time before the biggest race of their lives. The aero car felt the best that it's felt all week, so that's that's really encouraging. You know, we came here and there was slightly different aero rules for this year, a slightly different tire for this year. Uh, so everything felt a little bit different. We were kind of having to make some changes you wouldn't typically make here at the Speedway. But we worked on it over the week, and, you know, engineers have done a great job. And uh, like I said, now the car feels as strong as it has. So we'll see what we have on Sunday, I guess. It's tough to tell what everybody else around you has, so you just have to concentrate on your own deal. But um, car felt pretty good. Amazing Carb Day crowd here. This is just fantastic. 100th running. Uh, doesn't get any better than this. A party in Pagoda Plaza where folks from all over get an early start on the holiday weekend. It's all the people, it's the beer, it's tradition. We love coming out and seeing all the race fans. And drinking beer. And if Carb Day is any indication, this 100th celebration is off to a great start. This is the biggest crowd I've seen since I've been here at the Speedway. I've been here for five years, and this is certainly the biggest crowd I've seen. And this morning, weather looked like it might be iffy and wasn't sure, but this is a great crowd. In fact, People are still coming in, getting ready for the concert. So I think it's going to be, this is one of the ones for the ages. And that'll do it for sports. More news and weather after the break.